It is Friday prayers in Alamar, a coastal town outside Havana. Even in this communist corner of the Caribbean, far from their spiritual home, a handful of Cuban Muslims faithfully observe this most sacred of Islamic rituals. But the setting is far from ideal. In an abandoned playground, they are open to the elements and to the stairs of inquisitive passers-by as they pray. Even in the capital Havana, the Muslim community is limited to worshipping in either private homes or a single prayer room at the Casa del Arabe, a state-run museum to the country's Arabic heritage. But many young Cuban Muslims say that Islam no longer belongs in a museum. Rather, it is a living, breathing and expanding religion on the communist island. I'm part of a new generation of Muslims in Cuba, says recent convert Ibrahim Abdulaziz. We're trying to grow and learn everything we can about the Islamic faith. That is difficult without a mosque, though. In Cuba, there is still no central place of worship or point of contact for the disparate pockets of Muslims around the country. During his recent state visit to Havana, Turkey's President Erdogan urged Raul Castro to let his country build the first mosque on Cuban soil. But Turkey's petition may have come a little late. Another Muslim nation has already sent in the earth movers. This sign and this patch of land is the closest that the Muslim community in Cuba have come to having their own place of worship. But even this is a significant step. Many Cuban converts to Islam feel that, with the new sense of openness on the island, they may see the mosque finished within the year. One place where Muslims can gather and pray is the home of Iman Yaya Pedro Torres, the president of the Islamic League of Cuba. Over cups of sweet tea, he admits it's not easy to lead a strict Muslim life in Cuba, but denies that Muslims on the island follow a form of Cubanized Islam. No hay Islam cubano ni chino. There is no Cuban Islam, nor Chinese, Czech or Russian. It's the same Islam for everyone, based on what Allah orders in the Quran and what the Messenger of God, the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, has taught us. Until recently, even being Catholic in Cuba was frowned upon. Islam has traditionally had even fewer religious, political and physical spaces. But though Turkey or Saudi Arabia may lay the foundations, Cuban Muslims are confident that they will build the five pillars of Islam in Cuba themselves. Will Grant, BBC News, Cuba.